most lessons learned revolve around cover crop establishment and termination. Um, the establishment, you know, there's so many ways to get a cover crop seeded. You can aerial seed it into standing crop to try to get an early, uh, early growth with it. Um, then if it rains, you're, you're good and the crop comes off in time. If you don't get rain after that, it's, it's more difficult to establish it that way. You can come through afterwards with a drill. Um, that's that we've had good success with that as well. Um, and then termination, you know, making sure that if you're especially planting a, a high carbon content cover crop ahead of corn, managing that so you don't run into a nitrogen deficiency with a uh, lopsided carbon to nitrogen ratio in the spring. There's different ways around that. The no-till drills that we have with the coulters to provide good seed to soil contact um, really alleviate a lot of those issues. Just making sure that you have good establishment in the fall with your, with your covers to get good growth on them in the fall and uh, just knowing when the right time is to terminate. Um, it's making sure that the planter pass goes smooth and you don't end up with a uh, mess in front of the planter. So no one, if you're going to terminate early, terminate early and make sure that you're planting into brown dead residue. Or if you've decided that you're going to plant later and uh, let that cover crop get more growth into it, then you wait until after the planter goes to uh, spray it down. Yeah, on, on soybeans especially, we've seen consistent yield bumps with a cereal rye crop placed in front of it. Um, very consistently, anywhere from three to seven bushels we've seen repeatedly.